during the 20th century, it became clear that as countries develop, they undergo a changing demographic or a demographic transition. In states of underdevelopment and poverty, both death rate and birth rate are high. Countries in this stage are referred to being in stage one of the demographic transition. Very few countries on planet Earth remain in this state today. Most of the poorer LEDCs are experiencing falling death rates due to improved conditions and advances in medicine. Birth rate is slower to respond and initially countries in stage 2 see a rapid increase in population as birth rate far exceeds death rate. This continues as birth rate begins to decline but death rate further declines as people improve their quality of life and their level of education. Eventually, when most of the country becomes well educated and almost all people have a good quality of life, the country enters into the developed state or stage four of the demographic transition, where birth rate and death rate are in a steady state equilibrium. A stage five of the demographic transition is also recognized as some European countries and Japan continue to experience falling birth rates. And if the death rate is higher than the birth rate, the population will begin to decline or experience negative growth. Another way of studying the demographic transition is to use the age-sex pyramid. Many LEDCs have been undergoing transformation and moving through the various stages of the demographic transition. One such country is the tiny Caribbean nation of Trinidad and Tobago. Here we see its age-sex pyramid for the year 1983. This is typical of a country in stage two of the demographic transition with high birth rates, falling death rates, and an increasing population. The evidence for high birth rates showing up here in the large lower section of the pyramid with population very high in the lower age groups. 30 years later, with improved education and significant economic growth, the age-sex pyramid has transformed. Birth rates are now in steep decline and death rate continues to fall. Population is still on the increase. Economic growth is happening and most people of childbearing age are seeing the wisdom in having small families. As the demographic transition continues to take effect and this country begins to move into MEDC status, its population is moving into stage four of the demographic transition. And models predict that in the year 2023, the age-sex pyramid would begin to take on this kind of shape with even further reductions in the lower part of the age sex pyramid due to falling birth rates and greater expansions in the upper parts due to falling death rates. Having gone through the exponential growth section of the demographic transition, the overall population growth of this country was not as significant as we might have expected. One reason for this is large amounts of emigration for jobs and a better quality of life in places like Europe and North America. But today, as the quality of life improves,
Trinidad is seeing a new flood of immigrants and the balance is beginning to shift. The accuracy of models that predict changes in demographics is limited by this immigration and emigration. For there are other factors that control how these will change. In addition, models are limited by unforeseen events like hurricanes or earthquakes, which can completely decimate populations.